Hello, my lovely students. This is Miss Furnish. I hope you're all doing great. Today's subject is mathematics, and I'm going to talk about place values. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is digits. What are digits, and what does digit mean? Digits are the parts of a number, and they can be any number from 0 to 9. Like, look at number 6. How many parts or how many digits are in this number? There is only one part or one digit to this number, and it is just 6. What about 58? Excellent. Two digits. There are two parts or two digits in this number. In number 267, there are three parts or three digits. On the last one, 1037, how many digits are in this number? Only four. And this is where the place values come in. Well, a digit will be in ones spots. They can be in tens spots and also in hundred spots. The first place, as you can see, is for ones, and this is where the ones go. The second one is for the tens, and the last one is for the uh, hundreds, and this is where hundreds go. They can go actually higher than this, but this is enough for today's lesson. You can see a box over there. Okay, to understand this better, imagine place value is just like a small box that only holds only one digit at the time so you can only have one digit in each room you cannot put both digits in one room in your mind think about 10 can you put both digits in one's spot of course not you have to split them in each room as you can see we have ones tens and hundreds we use groups to help us count. And here you can see the blocks and this is how we represent the numbers in blocks. If you combine 10 ones into a single group, you will have a group called tens. So in this picture, look at the tens column. How many units do you have? I mean tens, not the ones. If you count them all, there will be 30 units. But how many groups of 10 do you have? Only three. One, two, three. You can see three groups of 10 in tens group. If you uh, have one group of 10, then you can put the digit one in the tens part. And if you have two groups of 10, then you can put the digit two in the tens spot, and so on. And if you have 99 units and add one more, you will have exactly 100 units. And if you make a group for them, you can put them in 100 spots. You can count how many groups of 100 for that. Okay, as a reminder, I'm going to tell you about ones. The digits in the ones spot tells us how many ones we have. In the tens spot tells us how many groups of 10 we have and the digits in the hundreds spot tells us how many groups of 100 we have okay number places are used to count different size of groups each group is 10 times bigger than the next and the digits in the number places tell us how many of each group we have Okay, look at this picture. Now you can tell me, how many blocks, how many units do you have in ones? Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight ones. How many groups of tens do you have in tens place? One, two, three. And how many groups of hundreds do you have in hundreds? Only one. Therefore, the number is 138. Look at this number. In number 35, 
the number in the ones place always equals itself. The 5 value in 35 is just 5, and it is represented by 5 ones cubes, as you can see. But the number in the tens place is always 10 times the value of the number showing. It's like counting by tens to the number you can see there. Look, 3 in the 35, the value of 3 is 30. And you can count by 10 three times. Let's do it together. 10, 20, 30. So the value of 3 here is 30. Or you can just put a 0 at the end of the number. That's the value of third, uh, 3 in this number. Good. You can see it's represented by a 3 tens block. Great job. Okay, here is an example of the book for you. Let's look at the first one together. And then number 1, how many 1s do you see? How many of those units do you see? Okay, let's count it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then you have to write the digit 5 in the 1's place. What about the 10's? How many groups of 10's do you see? None. None means 0. Then you have to put 0 in the 10's column. What about the 100's? How many groups of 100's do you see? Let's count it together. You see those flats? Okay, 1, 2, and 3. Then you have to put 3 in the 100's place. So, you see it's easy. This is number 305. Now it's your turn to do number 2, 3, 4, and 5. Please do it yourself and I will show you the results. Okay, here. Here it is, and number 2. Let's see. How many ones do you see? Nothing. There is nothing here. So you have to put 0 in the ones place. How many groups of tens do you see? One. 2, 3. Then you have to put 3 in the tens place. What about the hundreds? How many hundreds do you see? How many groups of hundreds do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You see? There are 5 groups of hundred. Then you have to put 5 in the hundreds place. So this is number 530. And you know the value of each number. Okay, next one, number three. Um, how many ones do you see? Easy, six. You can count them yourself. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Therefore, you have to put six in the ones place. How many groups of tens do you see? None. So, put the zero over there in the tens column. What about the hundreds? How many hundreds are there? Um, easy. One, two, three, and four. There are four hundreds or four groups of hundreds over there. So this is number 406. Okay, next one. Number four. How many ones do you see? Nothing. What about tens? One, two, three, four. There are four groups of ten over there. So the value of 4 in this number is 40. It's not 4. What about the hundreds? How many groups of hundreds do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there are 6 groups of hundreds over there. So this is number 640. The last one. Let's do it super easy. I know you can do it all. How many ones do you see? Only one. Therefore, you have to put 1 in the 1's group. And tell me, how many groups of 10's do you see? 1, 2. There are 2 groups of 10 over there. So you put the digit 2 in the 10's group. And the last one, the last room is for 100's. How many groups of 100's do you see over there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. There are 7 groups of hundreds in this picture. Therefore, you have to put the digit 7 in the hundreds place. So this is number 721. Okay, in this number, the value of 1 is only 1. The value of 2 is 20. Remember, you have to count by tens 
and this number actually two times 10 and 20 and the number seven its value is 700 because because it's seven groups of hundreds okay the last thing that I want to talk about is how to write numbers in different way numbers can be written in different way one way is called expanded form and the other one as we all know is a standard form this is like we write 351 24 or 6 but expanded form looks like a really long addition problem when they ask you to put the numbers in expanded form you have to pull apart and stretch out the digits how okay for this thing you should know the value of each digit in the numbers you have to know the value of 4 in this number which is 243 the value of 4 you know of course you know because you know it's in the tens place and it's 40 you know the value of 2 in this number because it's in the hundreds place so it means two groups of hundreds which is 200 and the value of 3 is only 3 because it's in the ones place after that you have to write it like an addition problem you will write 200 plus 40 plus 3 so if you put them all together it's gonna be 243 you see easy right okay I put another example for you here and this is uh, an example for you you have to do it yourself it's easy I'm sure you can do it all but in a little bit I will write down the answers okay please do it yourself there we go the first one 185 185 the standard form as we know it it's uh, to write it 185 and it is 185 okay let's look at the ones place what is the value of 5 it's only 5 okay let's look at the hundreds place in the hundreds place we have 1 so it means the value of 1 here is 100 look at the tens place we have 8 okay what is the worth of 8 it's actually 80 right because in it's in the tens place that it means 8 groups of tens and uh, 5 as you know its value is just 5 it equals itself when you want to write it in expanded form don't forget to put the addition sign which is plus in between the value of each digit okay look at number two number two what do we have we have 509 okay 509 in the hundreds place we have five what is the value of five it's 500 because it's in the hundred spots what about the tens do we have tens no so the value of tens is zero and the value of nine since it's in one's place the value equals itself and it's only nine therefore you have to write the addition like an addition problem you will write 500 plus 0 plus 9 if you put them all together if you add these numbers you will get 509 and that's our number so you see you can see all of the values of each digit in the expanded form okay I hope you enjoyed watching this video thanks for being with me Keep cool and see you next time. Bye-bye.